Yes, ladies and gentlemen, after two weeks, we are finally back in Pokemon Horizons, episode 13, and this one is titled, A Sudden Picnic. This is the first real filler episode of the series, and while the episode itself is fine, the production of this episode is worrying, so let's talk about it. <laughs> This episode begins with the ship not heading to Galar. Instead, the fin alignment of the ship is off, so the ship needs to run an automated check. We also learn here that Orla actually built this ship from the ground up. This used to actually just be a fishing boat for Ludlow until Frida asks Orla to make this thing fly. The recalibrating will take about half a day, so instead, Free decides that they should have a picnic. The picnic itself is nothing crazy. They make sandwiches which reflect their personality. Freed is eating an all-meat sandwich, which raises a lot of questions about the ethics and which Pokemon he's eating. Liko has a plain sandwich. Roy has a sandwich with almost too much things. They enjoy the food, and Liko reflects on her journey so far. She thinks about everyone in the Rising Voltacklers and how they're her friends now. This is where the production issues that I was talking about start shining through. The blatant use of footage from the first couple of episodes this early into the series is not a good sign. Neither is the fact that this episode 13 required 13 animation directors to not make it fall apart. And besides the incredibly short upcoming fight between Fuecoco and Watchroll, this episode didn't even have anything that crazy. I don't even know what needed that much support in order to be built, but whatever it was, that has me really worried for the future of this series. Roy wants to take a picture with Liko, the Sandwich, and their Pokemon to send to Dot, who's staying behind in the ship along with Ludlow. Liko thinks about how much it sucks that Dot isn't experiencing this picnic, so she asks Murdoch to help her with something. Meanwhile, Roy is chasing a Watchroll because it stole his and Fuecoco's sandwich. Roy chases it to the end of the cliff, but it doesn't fly off. Watchroll then gets ready to battle and dodges a stomping tantrum before screaming with Growl. Roy gets both Fuecoco and Watchroll to stop screaming at each other and shares the sandwich with it. However, once it eats its own, it also takes Fuecoco's part. As Roy and Fuecoco are walking away though, he notices a flock of Watchroll flying away except the one he just fought. First of all, was that just me or did that stomping tantrum look like rock throw? Watchroll's a flying type Pokemon, so it's not like it would have gotten hit by stomping tantrum anyway, so unless it was showing us that. Did Fuecoco learn a new move off camera? Dot is in the ship as a neato thing, trying to make a video about picnics, but can't because she's never really experienced one. That's when she gets a text from Liko telling her that she's made sandwiches for her in the kitchen. When Dot gets there though, the sandwiches aren't there, just the ingredient. Dot is wondering about this when Ludlow explains to her that picnics aren't just about going outside. They're about sharing experiences with the people you love and your Pokemon, and Liko is trying to share the experience of the picnic with Dot. Dot appreciates that and smiles. She even sends Liko a picture of her enjoying the food with the Nito Thing suit on with Ludlow. Liko's happy and thinks she's sending a picture of her in her Nito Thing costume, and it's a sign that their friendship is getting closer. She still doesn't know that she's Nito Thing yet. Finally, the picnic ends, and so as they're about to head back, Roy can't stop thinking about the watch roll, so he goes back to the cliff. Back in the ship, they're ready to fly away, but the recalibrating that was supposed to have happened has not continued. This is due to Spinal and all of his magneton that are causing interference in the air. And the episode ends on the question, will the ship be able to fly again? So like I said earlier, the episode itself is fine, it's nothing special, it's not really even worth talking about. However, I really am worried about the production of the series. There was a lot of still frames in this episode, very little movement, and the episode still required 13 animation directors. To give you an example, in a typical episode, if the production isn't falling apart like it is here, an episode will have maybe one, maybe two animation directors at the most. 13 tells you that there's a massive issue going on, and I really hope they can solve it soon. The main reason usually for these production issues are time. The production studios and the animators just don't have enough time to work on these episodes. That's why they already took a two week break 12 episodes into the series. In a well maintained long running series that would never be an issue. For me, if they need to take more two week breaks to give the animators more breathing room, I hope they do that. I don't want to see production fall apart for the series like it did for Pokemon Journeys. As for the episode itself, the two main things are the story of Roy and Watchroll and Spinal finally making a move. I guess we'll have to see where both of these stories go. What about you guys? What did you guys think of this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at TheRealPDGaming and that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.